me to Valenzuela from the Sitara ARM Processors team at Texas Instruments. I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to the Android Software Development Kit that's included in the AM335X Starter Kit. Every kit includes our free Android Software Development Kit, or SDK. Each SDK comes with the software components, documentation, development and debugging tools, and benchmarking apps to help get your Android-based product to market fast. The Android SDK is also pre-integrated with connectivity options like wireless LAN, Bluetooth, USB, or Ethernet. It also includes ARM Accelerated Multimedia, power management, 3D graphics, audio, display drivers, sensor control, and much more. At this point, you should follow the Quick Start Guide to set up your starter kit and insert the Android Micro SD card. On PowerUp, the Android logo is displayed, and within a few seconds, you should see the Android locked screen on the LCD. Press the lock image and drag your finger towards the unlock image and release. This opens the main Android screen. This screen has multiple application icons displayed to demonstrate the capabilities of the AM335X processor. To get you started, there are a few interesting games like Amazed, which will demonstrate the accelerometer integration, and Chess and Frozen Bubble, which will demonstrate the UI capabilities. Storyboard and Thermostat are Android applications from our partner Crank Software, and they demonstrate automotive, a thermostat, a medical app, and many other UI skins that show off the capabilities of the processor. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll find an Android shortcut bar that shows icons for the browser, the application launcher, and RoboPerf. If your board is connected to a network over Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you can use the browser to access the internet. The application launcher icon takes you to a new screen where multiple standard Android application icons are displayed. RoboPerf is a text instruments tool that can help you evaluate the hardware peripherals on the board. It has many interesting tools to benchmark the performance and throughput of the CPU, 3D graphics accelerator, and peripherals like USB and MMC SD. You can also quickly navigate the Android OS by using the Home, Back, Menu, and Search buttons located on the side of the AM335X starter kit. When you're ready to start your own development, simply power down the starter kit, remove the SD card, and insert it into a Linux PC. The SD card contains pre-built images that were used for demonstration. The sources for Android, the Linux kernel, a bootloader, and libraries for the WL127X and SGX. You'll also find tools and documentation. Click on the Start Here folder and view the HTML file. This provides all the details on the software, steps to install the software and tools, and the procedures to set up the host machine to start your development. Check the included DVD for Android ADT plugins for Eclipse. You can use these same plugins to use TI's Code Composer Studio as an Android IDE to develop and debug Android applications. That's it. You're ready to start your Android development on the AN335X Citara processor. For more info, please visit the web pages listed on your screen. Thank you for watching.